we go. Corporal Tim Cook has seen a lot of combat on three tours in Iraq. The first one was real tough. That we got, you know, rocketed and mortared like daily. He wasn't always a Marine. The 29-year-old was a highly paid insurance investigator near the World Trade Center. I looked up and I'm like looking at the plane. I'm like, wait a second. When everything started coming down, you know, we were running in the smoke and stuff. I was covered in it. And once that happened, they couldn't get me in quick enough. I was like, look, I said, I want to leave now. Cook joined the Marines as a grunt at the lowest pay grade. Then came the war in Iraq. His dark side battalion fought through mortars, rocket propelled grenades, and gunfire to take a key bridge. And when they made it to Baghdad, they helped topple Saddam's statue. On Cook's second tour... Every corner you went around, somebody was shooting at you. Every house that you opened a door in might have blown up in your face. He fought in the battle to retake Fallujah, house by house. So here I am now, <laughs> in Iraq the third time. Back in Fallujah. Battle-hardened, Cook's unit provides security, maintaining control of the area. I, I've done my part. I can now say, you know, I've served my country. I'm glad, no regrets, and I can always look back on it. A year later, fresh out of the Corps, we catch up with him at Ground Zero. It still angers me. Makes me want to go over to the, the Times Square Marine office and sign back up, I guess. After three tours in combat, you'd think he'd satisfied the need to serve his country. The Marine Corps says that is what defines a hero and awarded him nine medals and ribbons for fighting in Iraq. Uh, to me, medals and ribbons don't mean anything. What does? Actions. Definitely actions. Getting out, I guess, getting, getting your hands dirty, doing stuff for the other people around you, doing stuff for the guy standing next to you, doing stuff to keep them safe, doing stuff to keep yourself safe, just mainly actions. Tim Cook is still trying to keep others safe, working for the U.S. State Department back in Iraq. Alex Quaid, CNN, New York.